What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl G Baby. That's G dot B A B I I. And if you don't want to call me G Baby, then you already know you can call me the seventh letter in the alphabet. So, you guys, I know that it is technically still Vlogmas, and I did promise that I would post 12 videos related to Christmas, but. I have been reading through my comments and I have noticed that a lot of you ask me how are you posting these very popular Christmas songs inside of your vlogs without getting a copyright strike. So today I am going to be giving you guys some tools on how I create my very own YouTube background music and how you can also create your very own YouTube background music without getting any copyright strikes and this can work on almost any almost <laughs> any um song you like oh, i almost forgot to tell you guys you'll be doing all of this right from your phone so you won't even need a laptop or nope. any of that if you got a cell phone that doesn't matter if it's an iphone or an android you can do this technique but before we get into this video make sure you smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up Okay, you guys, let's get into it. First thing first, of course, you're going to need your phone. And in your phone, we're going to have to download a few apps. The first app I'm going to need you to download is a cool app called Unmix. Unmix is a pretty awesome app, you guys. You use it to extract any song you like. Um, heavy on the any, you guys. I mean, any song you like, you can extract it from the instrumental and the vocals using Unmix. And it works perfectly. I have never had any problems using this app at all whatsoever. Unmix offers a free version, which actually allows you to extract three songs, you guys. And I think it's only for like a minute long. But if you want to make minute long songs, you can always use this free version and it's also good to just test run the app to see if it's actually something you truly like. They offer three different pro versions you guys and each one of these pro versions you can use to extract the songs that you like. The first version you can extract about 300 songs for like $17.99. The second version, you can extract about 100 songs for $6.99. And the last one is 25 songs, if I'm not mistaken, for $2.99. After picking a plan that's best for you, you can pick a song from your auto library in your phone to remove the vocals from the instrumental. They offer this in two different breakdowns, you guys. The first one, you can just simply do the vocals from the instrumental. And the second one, now the drums from the instrumental, the bass from the instrumental, the actual instrumental itself, and the vocals. I would suggest you use this version, the second version, because if it breaks it down in fours, it makes the sound quality a little bit better for you to be able to mix and match it how you like to create your own music and it helps without getting a copyright strike really quick if you break it down even more. Now at this time, you need to pull two songs that you like from your auto library, and one of them should be the song that you like the instrumental from, and one of them should be a song that you like the vocals from. Save each of these separately to your auto library. Keep in mind, you guys, that we are trying our best not to get a copyright strike, so we are trying to find a instrumental from a different song, but can still be compatible to the vocals that we downloaded as well from another song. So once we put them together, it can still sound really good, but a little different. Next, we're gonna download a app called Tempo, you guys. And Tempo does exactly what it sounds like it does. It's going to switch up the tempo real quick. Either you can decide to make your song go a little faster or a little slower or a lot faster or a lot slower depending on your mood of what you would want for your song. I would personally suggest that you switch up the tempo of the vocals and kind of leave the instrumental be 
Um, you can change the tempo of the instrumental if it works for you, but I have pretty much just been changing the vocals. Um, I can either make that person voice sound higher or lower, deeper, all of that in tempo and just add it to the instrumental that I prefer and make it a good song. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. You actually have to download one more app and this app is called Edging, you guys. Now, I'm no DJ at all whatsoever, but the Edging app definitely makes me feel like I am. You get to mix any kind of song you like on here, like an actual DJ. So it does give you a lot of fun in doing this as well if it's something you're actually interested in doing. Um, sometimes it takes up a lot of my day because I just like playing around on the app. So, yeah. <laughs> Once you get on the Edge and app, what you're going to do is add in your vocals that you already have made either faster or slower with tempo and also your instrumental that you had cut out earlier. You're going to add one on each side and you're going to combine them together. Now at this time, you're going to press record. They also have some cool editing in the inside if you want to add a little bit something extra to your song have kick, bass, um, clap, all of that inside of there for your editing. And you can add this in to make your beat sound a little bit more interesting. Once you find the sound that is perfect for you, just simply save this to your phone. Now it's Christmas time, so I decided to do a quick mix on a song that I actually love for Christmas, which is James Brown. Santa Claus go straight to the ghetto. If you don't know that Christmas song, baby, you missing out. Go ahead and go listen to that and thank me later. This is how my instrumental actually turned out when I, fin well, it's not instrumental. This is how my actual song turned out when I finished mixing and matching it the way I thought fit best for what I had downloaded. You know that I know what you will see cause that was what's me. Santa Claus, go straight to the ghetto. Now it's time to put your music to the test, you guys. You can simply upload your music to YouTube or just use the copyright tool on YouTube to make sure that you don't have any copyright strikes on the beat. You guys, please always test your beat. Why do I keep saying beat? Test your song that you created to make sure that it does not have any copyrights. Do not just add this to your video and then upload the video and then have a copyright strike. Just test the song out. It don't, it don't even take that long for you to process that. Like, let it check the song out, see if the song has any copyright strikes. You can check this in your YouTube studio. It'll actually tell you if you have any copyright strikes and that way you won't even put yourself through the hassle of having to delete and redo. If everything checks out, add this song to your video and voila, you actually have created your very own background music to add into any of your YouTube videos. But I'm just using this video for vlogging, so of course I'm going to show you guys a Christmas themed song. Hopefully this helps somebody all year round though if you want to create copyright free music for your YouTube background music. And that's it you guys. <laughs> So I'm guessing that is a wrap for today's video. I'm wishing you guys a whole lot of peace, love, and blessings. And remember, if it ain't about the bag, we ain't stressing it, period. Happy holidays. Hey.